We've had some interesting stuff go in the last week. Uh, one of those being a certain uh, white cloudy thing in the sky floating across the United States from China. Okay, now uh, hang, on, hang on a minute. Yeah. So what happened during that whole, you know, balloon overflight? Well, uh-huh. I would say it's mental prestidigitation because there are things that were done while uh, the attention was up in the sky. So mm-hmm. red pill, go down the list. Yeah, uh, the biggest one here, uh, I'll throw that on the screen now. This is from the Daily Mail in the UK. Uh, <laughs> this is a big one to be a distraction with a balloon here. AOC and three other members of Congress paid Chinese foreign agent. Financial records show several House lawmakers handed over advertising cash to U.S.-based Hong Kong newspaper to help with their election campaigns. How pleasant. And we can get in this article a little bit here, but this All this right. is astounding. Well, I just got to ask some questions. All right. Mm-hmm. So we all know what AOC stands for. It stands for all out cunt. <laughs> Why is she sending money overseas for a campaign uh-huh. she's running for here in America? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody- it's not like it's not like she gets enough donations that are outside of her district as enough yeah no it's totally not suspicious at all um no no. anyway we'll get into this a little bit here uh alc and at least three other house members at least three other house members so these are all elected officials uh just acting in their own interests interest uh they paid thousands in advertising costs to a chinese newspaper classified by the justice department as a foreign agent, it comes as tensions are reaching an all-time high between Washington and Beijing uh, as new GOP-controlled House zeroes in on addressing competition and the rising threat from China. AOC for re-election in her New York district spent nearly 1500 on advertising with Singtown newspapers during the 2022 midterms, a Fox News digital review of campaign finance records reveals. The Federal Election Commission FEC filings show that Representative Grace Ming, DNY, Rep. Nicole uh, Maliatakis, Republican New York, and Kevin Mullen, Democrat California, also dropped between 1,000 and 7,000 to various Singtao entities in a re-election campaign advertising expenses. Singtao U.S. is a subsidiary of Hong Kong-based Singtao News Corporation. So yeah, they're just uh, now sending I, money. Now I could be wrong here. I believe there are laws and rules on the books that if you are an elected public official and you have any dealings with foreign agents, they are to be mm-hmm. disclosed. Mm-hmm. Well, they're supposed to be, but yeah. sounds <laughs> like that didn't happen here. At least not by uh, all out cunt. No, I I don't I don't believe so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mrs. Right. Horse teeth, good tits. It's all right. <laughs> yeah. that's that's I scrolled cool. down so I didn't have to look at her face. <laughs> yeah, that's like her Thanks. only saving grace, I think, is uh, yeah. she still has a set of perky tits that haven't uh, started running for the floor. Yeah. Even then, uh, sorry, I got to pass. <laughs> yeah. I know. All I right. know. Can you imagine yeah. Pelosi's old wrinkled up oh, beagle ears flopping around? Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, damn it. Thanks Pop for that. Put that in the- yeah, thank you, man. Thank you. You know what? You know what? Here, here. Just, just, just because of that. <laughs> there. <laughs> All right. Moving right along, uh, the all newspaper right, right, is right. considered to be pro-Beijing. The four U.S. campaigns spent advertising expenses at the Chinese-owned entity after the Department of Justice forced it to register as a Chinese foreign agent in August 2021. China has increasingly uh, come onto the U.S. radar as a main adversary, specifically in terms of competition and global defenses. Beijing is growing more ire towards Washington with politicians acknowledging the autonomy of the island nation Taiwan, which the Chinese Communist Party has long claimed as their territory. Mm -hmm. Uh, And I'll I'll wrap this up because we don't have to read the whole article here, but to counter the U.S. claims, China has ramped up its military drills and operations in the South China Sea 
near the island. Uh, again, more than half of the content of Sing Tao's U.S. operation is purchased from another Chinese company, Star Production, Shenzhen Limited, according to Foreign Agents Registration Act filings. So, all right, I'd now, say this is a little bit dirty business here. Well, what most people don't understand is the companies in China all have a clause when they're allowed to do business in the country that at any time the CCP can seize the company for the best interests of China. So over in China, you think they have capitalism going on. They don't. It is actually communist controlled capitalism. And we've seen the effects of this over the, over the past few years. I believe there's uh, a bunch of chips that uh, were made in China that, basically had built in uh, surveillance inside them. And Trump went so far as to say, we're not doing business in with China in that regard. All right. We have, uh, what is it? TikTok. Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. Have you ever read the terms of service on TikTok? Nope. Uh, I, haven't even done I have personally not. No, I have skimmed them. And there is a very scary clause in there that if you download the app, they have access to all of your network, all of your hard drives. Yikes. Yeah. Fun stuff. So, look, it, I was thinking about messing around with TikTok, but do I, you know, when I when I heard that, I'm like, nah. If somebody if somebody else out there out there wants to start a TikTok and post my stuff on there, that's fine, but I don't think it'll be coming, you know, directly from me at least. Oh no! If right. if they posted anything from your channel, it would get banned right away. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> and I'm doing my job. <laughs> As a matter of fact, when I went and bought my new phone after my uh, drunken incident in South Dakota with my dad the other day, um, or a while back, the phone came pre-downloaded with TikTok on it. Oh no! Wow. Shit. First first thing I did was uninstall that son of a bitch. I was like, oh, nope. That's pretty. I scary. haven't. They actually have. Yeah. It's odd to see TikTok is now bloatware on a phone. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. it was it was auto downloaded on my phone. I was just going through, scrolling through the apps, making sure everything was working right. Yeah, TikTok, I didn't download that. I'm gonna have to talk to some of my buddies um, who work on the Intel side if TikTok leaves behind any residue software that still spies on you after you delete it. It That'll wouldn't be surprise me. Oh. Question. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me either. Um, I'm getting kind of tired of this shit. And correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't there a list of like 2 million agents that were operating within this country? And that was like three or four years ago. And something like that. Yeah. And I can't recall if we've done anything about this list. Why have we hmm. rounded these people up and kicked them the hell out of the country? I just saw the, the uh, article that uh, in New York, the Chinese had their yep. own police station. They shut yep. that down. Yep. Why are we why are we allowing this to happen? We as a country need to put our foot down or at least put our foot in somebody's ass in regards to this you know flagrant abuse of yeah. our sovereignty. Yeah, I mean, I can't give you any definitive uh, factual answers, but I can tell you I have a very strong feeling that certain administrations allegedly may be bought and paid for. Yes, because we do have the best government money can buy. Unfortunately, yep. us as the taxpayers, we can't afford it. Yeah. What are you gonna yep. do? Right. Yeah. So uh that was the, the first article there, but it gets it gets better. So, All right. Let's move into this now because uh just when you think you've heard enough, oh no, there is definitely more. Uh this one here interests me. Why? Uh the Biden regime quietly frees one of the 9-11 terrorist planners from Gitmo as the whole country watches the Chinese spy balloon. So there you go. Again, we're all looking up the sky, waiting to figure out what uh, this administration is going to do about a balloon that should have never been here to begin with. Uh -huh. uh, so releasing um, terrorists. So that's fun. Let's, let's check out the article a little bit though. Uh, right. As the country was preoccupied with the Chinese spy balloon last week, one of the 9-11 terrorist planners was quietly released from Guantanamo Bay in Cuba by the Biden regime on Thursday 
Majid Khan, now 42, was moved from Belize, his legal team announced. Today, more than 16 years after he was brought to Guantanamo Bay and almost a year after he completed a military commission sentence there pursuant to a plea and cooperation agreement with U.S. authorities, Majid Khan was transferred to Belize, his legal team said in a statement. Khan is one of the few detainees to be relo relocated uh, to the Western Hemisphere and the first to be resettled under the Biden regime. Isn't that lovely? Yes, and Wonderful. I hope there's some uh, people in Belize who are very unhappy with this individual and arrange for bad things to happen to him, mm -hmm. in my opinion. I wouldn't yeah. condone it, but I would understand. Yeah, well, I think yeah. I would condone it. But listen, yeah, just a that whole bit. thing was a, a huge goat screw. We can do a whole show on 9 11 and all the stuff that fell through the cracks and all of the impossible stuff they sold us after the fact. I'm going to be honest, I don't believe it. All right, I, I find it hard to believe that a bunch of crack pots with box cutters did that much damage. Oh, no. <laughs> without, without at least some help from the inside. Yeah. In yeah. I, I absolutely agree with you. Um, but, yeah, that, that is definitely a – you could spend days talking about that one for sure. Yeah. And I, um, I, I've had some uh, – some of the fans have actually sent in material in regards to the whole 9-11 thing. Yeah. And, uh, uh, there was a whole organization of architects who basically – uh, rebuffed everything that was released to the public saying there's no way that this is physically possible. And I, no. believe, I, I believe them. I do. Yeah, no, it's, it's very often that buildings just uh, completely fall in on themselves as well. You know, it happens every day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, my theory yeah. is this. Okay. They already tried to blow up the building about, was it 10 years prior to that? And they failed. All right. Yeah. Now, if they were successful and one of those towers did fall over, the footprint it fell, fell into would probably kill 100,000 people. Mm. Maybe quietly, they actually did put explosives that will do a controlled fall of the building if it were to happen again. Now, if that is true, they should just tell us, because I would understand that, mm -hmm. if you think the building's going to you know, fall over and kill 100,000 people, or you blow it, make it fall into its own footprint, and you know you have to choose the lesser of two evils. I totally got that. I understand it. But uh, for them to not disclose that, then ship off all of the the steel wreckage, which could have been tested for explosives, but never was. That, that is that is just. I just can't wrap my head around that. I'm, I'm sorry. Yep. I will say this though. One uh one way to kind of hide that would be to uh, use the same steel from the building and then melt it down and then make a battleship out of it because then it would constantly be test test positive for explosives <laughs> <laughs> just saying it makes sense to me yeah yeah i got you, I got you. <laughs> all right on that What's note there? we'll uh well, well i want to go into this a little bit further just because all of right, what was okay. said here because personally i don't buy it but that's just my opinion again uh, he is not the first of the prisoners transferred from the secret CIA detention to Guantanamo in September 2006. He he is the first, excuse me, uh, since September 2006 to be released and the first third country resettlement by the Biden administration. Mr. Khan and his legal team are deeply grateful to Belize for offering him a chance to begin a new life. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Or to, you know, do something in those, else in the future. But uh, what do I know? Yeah, I got uh he says here, I have been given a second chance in life and I intend to make the most of it, said Khan in a statement issued by his legal team. <clears throat> Excuse me. I deeply regret, <clears throat> damn it. Uh, I deeply regret the things that I did many years ago and I have taken responsibility and tried to make up for them. I continue to ask for forgiveness uh, from God and those I have hurt. I am truly sorry. I think we'll wrap it up there again. Yeah, if you want to cool. look at the rest of that, you can pause that in the future. And, I would and like look at to that. see but his answer delivered well. By a 30 caliber bullet. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat gazer box.